Mr. Mike Price, how was your Thursday, my friend? Hey, buddy. It's going well, man. How about you? I don't know about you, but it's an absolutely insane market. <laughs> it certainly is. Um, yeah. try, trying to keep all hands on deck, trying to keep up with it. I know. Hey, good problems to have. Obviously, I think for maybe some inexperienced or younger agents that are getting demolished in this market because, I mean, the crazy things that we're seeing on the buyer side of the trip. I mean, we're you and I, you know, lucky enough to have a lot of listings, right? We always know that that's a way to run a really well balanced um, business is have a lot of listings. Yeah. And this is definitely the market you want to be on the listing side. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk, probably talk a little bit about that on this one too. So, but hey, on this one, I wanted to, you know, you and I have been talking a lot about what we've been doing and our focus is helping other agents um, increase their productivity in the business. And, yeah. So wanted to kind of share some of the nuggets that um, you know you and I talk quite often about what we're doing, what we have done over the last you know few years to really drive both of our businesses. And you know I won't speak for you, but I'm pretty sure we're in a similar ballpark that we're both on pace to uh, increase our businesses at least by fifty percent this year. Um, are you kind of in that same boat? Yeah, we're we're over we're over double in volume the same time last year right yeah. now it's dude that's awesome yeah that's awesome Hopefully so i think you know and we're we're on that same pace um we are i think 80 something percent over where we were this time last year which is amazing wow. um obviously a lot of hard work goes into that but as you and mm -hmm. i both know models and systems come into play and then being able to create enough efficiency in our businesses to be able to maintain that pace without killing yeah. ourselves. So um, on today's chat, I just wanted to kind of talk about like from your perspective, what have you done to be able to run at such a pace um, model systems? And then what can we impart on other agents to help them uh, grow their business? You know, the, the whole thing, it really it boils down to the, the models and systems. I mean, we have now, we we have everything we do is systemized out to the T. We have a checklist for every single thing we do. And so every morning at 815, I do a huddle on uh, Google Meets with my whole team. And that's my two admin and my buyer's agent and our closing coordinator and our uh, uh, sometimes our uh, uh, closer attorney may jump in there. So where we go over the day. We go over everything that we're doing and uh, the day starts out here with lead generation and follow up. And then we knock that out. And then that's, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that jump into that time slot. All want to want to jump into that time slot every time. And so uh, we do the very best we can to stay focused. Uh, my yeah. admin team, Mallory, uh, and Christine do a real good job of keeping me out of that. Yeah. And keeping Hannah out of that, which allows us to do what we need to do the, the, the follow up on the clients. And then the rest of the day is following up with, you know, business we have right now and, and going on appointments. And it's, if you don't have a systemized, you know, an organized systemized, can I say organized? Everybody knows me. like, I'm not organized, <laughs> but if you don't have, if you don't have a, a plan and a system in place, it's going to be real hard to do that because you can't keep up with the pace of the business that's coming in. Yep. And the business we have, if you don't have a, a system for it and, and, you know, the system is also, you know, we use follow up boss for our CRM with everything we get. A, we get a lead or somebody calls us, hey, Michael, would you sell my house? And then we'll put them in follow up boss. And we set them on a follow up system and then we have our assistant go back and check and make sure we're doing that. And we let everybody know on the team with, with, with uh, you know, hey, you got it. You got a new lead. And we do that consistently. And, you know, we get overwhelmed uh, at times. I mean, there's some days I'm like you. I'm like yesterday. You're like, man, I'm so busy. <laughs> and and I, I'm like that with like you but pretty much every day. But, yeah, we we just stay. We try to stay focused on uh, the, 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 the plan every day and do, follow the same exact schedule every day. Well, you said a couple of things in there that obviously I wanted to talk about. Um, one is the one thing I've always respected about your business is you're probably the most consistent lead generator um, that I've ever met. Like you're as consistent as anybody every single morning that you guys are doing your lead generation. So 
what does that um, what does that look like to you guys? Because right now, what do you have? Just for context, you guys are at least um, you've got what a, probably over thirty pending at this point, pending or closed to date. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we're yeah we're we're right at about twelve million. Got it. Right, so. Right so I, everything obviously starts lead generation wise. So what does your what does your lead generation look like? What times do you do it, and what all are you doing? Ideal schedule: we huddle from eight fifteen to eight forty five, and then I'm on the phone at eight forty five. Uh, usually ends up about nine, sometimes nine fifteen, and I've got the the lead generation really starts the day before. Um, you know, I, I set up all my follow ups and everything the day before. So when I open up my CRM, it's right there. And I've got, you know, multiple lead sources that with, with their, their own CRM that ties into ours. But I put them all up on one screen. I've got three screens going. I've got my pendings and all my one, you know, uh, on one screen. I've got my, my CRM in the middle and I've got all the different lead sources. And I just start going through and following up, taking tasks. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a phone call follow up or an email touch or lately it's been a video. Um, quick little video. I got the ring light set up and it's a fast yeah. little video. Hey, Stacy, I just keep it in touch. You know, let me know if you, when you're ready to meet. And it's just really uh, the, the consistency. I'm, I mainly focus on sellers. And uh, but I do convert, uh, convert a lot of buyer leads for the team for Hannah. Correct. Um, and so it's just, um, you know, we're, we're following up on a lot of it's our sphere, too. We get people calling us, you know, from our uh, from our sphere and past clients. And, and that's a system in itself. Because, and, you know, you've mastered that. It's you have to have a continuous message going out to a monthly on a newsletter. Yep. And then I think you have more touches than anybody I've ever met. <laughs> we, we are trying to get there. We, we probably touch our database uh, and our past clients probably 35 or 40 times a year. Yep. Um, and it's a, a, a today I have three video messages. Hey, happy birthday. And, 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 and uh, cool. Also, uh, you know, anniversaries, but yeah, it's just. And you do all that through follow up boss. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, yeah. so obviously you work your CRM, right? Our CRM for the longest time was a hot mess until we actually got some, what we call rules of the pipeline in place um, for new leads and then for our sphere and past clients. So obviously you put a system in place to be able to work through those every single day on a really consistent basis that is then generated your, you know, your business keeps growing and growing and growing. Correct. That, that's right. And a lot of things I want to, while we're talking about lead generation, I, I want all the, all, everybody, but especially the newer agents to hear this. It's not a fast thing. It's the, the, the fortune is in the follow-up. Yeah. It, it, the follow-up is 85%, 90% of what this is. Over and over and over again, I may touch somebody, I may follow up somebody 15 times in a three month period. And then they finally call me because, hey, I, I was talking to four agents. You're the only one that stayed in touch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's meet. And so the, the, it's a lot of people get discouraged after two weeks. They don't get three deals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sometimes you two know, days. I, but yeah, I go four or five days. I don't really yeah. do a lot. And then, and then I'll get six in a row where I'm setting appointments, you know, two and three appointments a day. Yeah. Well, your consistency has always impressed me because this is what you and I both have learned, right? We've been doing this long enough till we know this success is found in the boredom of the daily task, time on task over time. And we've yeah. just chipped away at it. And we both now built our teams. And this is the first time I can honestly say that our team is so in tune with our CRM from new leads and just have a consistent follow-up process uh, and how we attack it. And they're just planting the seeds, right? Like you're yeah. making the phone calls, making the contacts. And then like you said, agents are the worst at follow-up. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, for both of us in there at portions in our career, now every single person that we've talked to in our CRM, which is a lot, everybody in our SOI and our past clients, every single one, has a follow-up reminder in our CRM now. Yeah. It tells us when we need to do that. It's the first time we've ever really, really got our arms around it. Um, but it was a process. And I think what everybody needs to do is, you know, and I love that you said that consistency part because you're probably the most consistent lead generator, like I said, I've ever met. So that's impressive. So that's one system. The other thing that I heard you say is you've got two admins, you've got a contract to close person, right? Mm -hmm. 
as three administrative people that mm -hmm. basically help you run your show. So you are really a highly leveraged person. And so what have you done? How, how did you create all those admins? You, you obviously have a checklist for every single function that you guys do, right? From listing management to contract to close. I know you've got a really good follow-up system for your clients because you're a pretty heavy sphere of inf uh, influence mm -hmm. past client. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sure majority of your business comes that route uh, also because I know you've you've taught me a few things on how to get reviews during, you know, prior to closing and some other stuff with your clients. So can you speak to your administrative piece? Because I think a lot of people early in the business struggle with the leverage. And uh, I hired an admin pretty damn quick out of the gate, even though I, I actually had liked the administrative. I guess that's the engineer into me. But I realized that wasn't the part that was going to make my money. We needed to build the system and mm -hmm. let that person run it for us or else we were going to go hungry. So how did you build your administrative team? Um, and if you were to do it all over again, like with that, obviously that should be the first hire and likely the second yeah. hire. Um, so talk a little bit about your administrative team. So right now, uh, so to give you a little context, I, when I started with Keller Williams in 2011, and then I, I did a few deals and then my, in a, probably about February of 2012, John Fountain, Said you're hiring an assistant. I was like, I, I can't afford it. I don't have the money. He goes, Yeah, you do. You have yeah. five closings. You can do. Go ahead. And you really only have to really be able to afford three months, and because it's a 90 day trial period. So I hired my first assistant, and it, it's been trial and error over the years uh, finding the right fit, not only for the for the role, but for my personality. Yeah. Because I'm fast, 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 and I just mow over <laughs> them. Yeah. And, and and so anyway, the team I have now, Mallory, who is a, a superstar. Um, and by the way, she's virtual. She lives in North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, and she's military. Her. So she probably runs a pretty structured show. She runs a tight ship in her household. And so she <laughs> runs it on the administrative side here too. Mallory's the, the boss around here, really. Yeah, and uh, great. and uh, she was a referral from Hannah. So I, I, I brought Mallory in and, uh, and then we have a virtual, another virtual assistant who we've got who helps with the listing coordination and Mallory does everything. Okay. Everything. We have a, a, another assistant that helps her with listing coordination and helps the Hannah, the buyer's agent with uh, setting up the showings and getting all those ready. And then she's, she's taking over. We're giving her, she's, she's new. So we're giving her more and more tasks every week uh, as she, as she grows. And then we have a transaction coordinator um, who like, if you're, if you're in business and the transaction coordinator we have is phenomenal. You, you are not going to make money in real estate. If you want to do it all by yourself, you have to, you have to leverage that out and do what you're really good at. And you're one of those rare combinations. Like you're really good on the administrative side, but you're also really good on the finding the business side. Usually the, 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 the real detail folks are not that great at the sales side. You, you are, I'm, I'm well, terrible. Let's be honest there, though, because Fountain would tell you the same thing was I was like hockey stick growth because my C got in the way because I was getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready because I wanted yeah. everything perfect. And then when I finally realized that wasn't going to pay the bills and hired somebody to do that, then my growth took off on the sales side. So um, I think you, you know a little bit about that. But, yeah, I had to get out of my own way. Yeah. Um, and get somebody that was better mind that could be a taskmaster that could handle all of that stuff. So that's that's for sure. Um, and I, sh I should have come out of the gate stronger. Um, I just couldn't get to point your your point that, um, you know, know what your strengths are. Um, but if you're going to succeed in this business, you've got to be leveraged and have some good administrative help and get that off your plate. ASAP. I mean, Dan Beer talks. He he. First deal, he didn't do himself. He already had. A transaction coordinator do his first deal, which is obviously yeah. super smart. Yeah, he he, he now I heard him say that yesterday. Um, I wasn't far behind him. I, I I was probably about four or five in it when I figured out I didn't want to do the transaction side of it. Um, yeah. But you have to hire hire people that are better than you at that in that space, and then you yeah. have to back up and let them do it and get out of the way Correct. and let them run it. And you and I both being as team owners, we 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 don't want mistakes. We want everything done the right way. And, um, especially with clients, but yeah, we have, we have a, tre a Trello board. We have it built out and we have everything. I mean, you could come off the street and never have done a deal in real estate and go follow that checklist and do everything on there that we do in a business other than the, the, the client.
So uh, that, I'm sure that helps scale up training for as your organization grows, you need to hire new people. They can plug into a system, right? You have a playbook by which you run your right. business and that's going to allow you to scale it over time. So, which I think is a good segue because I, you know, a lot of people are asking, you know, the agents that have joined us, uh, not on our teams, but in our network and that, that have wanted to be around us. Um, what does that look like from your end, from like a playbook perspective? You know, how, how are you seeing us being able to help other agents um, scale faster, grow businesses quicker than you and I did, where we may not have had, uh, where, you know, I'm sure we had good training and we're able to plug into some stuff. Um, but I think with technology and um, some of the other systems out there that we're helping agents scale quickly. So what does that look like from your perspective? So the, the majority, the majority, majority agents that I speak with, they all want to figure out how to do how to double their business. And and in order to scale, you have to have systems. And in order to have systems, you have to you have to be doing you either can create them on your own, which takes a long time, or you can uh, use what someone else that's come before you has done it. Success leaves clues. And so I, I just uh, I help all the agents that I'm that I'm speaking with. First thing I do is I show them our systems and show them how to get organized. And I think that that's the main thing that everybody wants is to do production. And that's what I love about our group. It's not uh, it, it's, it's a, the, all the other stuff that comes with EXP is wonderful. But our group is 100 percent focused on production and how to get there. And then having a playbook that like I I share my playbook and our systems with everyone that we talk to, uh, whether they're in EXP or not, because. I know that the more people we help, uh, that, that always comes back and, and it comes back our way. But um, it's it's very, uh, very uh, exciting and very fulfilling to be able to help people grow their business. And I would tell anybody that's growth minded to be if, as long as you're surrounded by people that are doing it at a much higher level than you are and are willing to share that with you. That's where you need to be. Yeah. And like that's that's what I love about our group is. Like, like we were talking about this yesterday, I, I, I'm, I was a bigger fish in this in a pond where I was at in my last brokerage, but now we're like I'm at the, we're at the bottom, <laughs> we're like, yeah. we're like we're at the exactly. very bottom looking up, and that's where I want to be, yep. you know, surrounded by those folks. And so people come to me all the time, and we just you know we just open up and share and help and and, and do what we can to help everybody you know, pro, you know progress forward. Well, I think if you, I mean, I remember back to when I was coming up in the business and, you know, people were telling me how to do things, right? Like we'd go into class and kind of hear uh, almost like a college level, hey, here's the theory of real estate. Most of us wanted to, and I think most agents are like this. They're like, hey, I want to see it. Like I physically want to see you on a listing appointment. I physically want to see you filling out a contract. I physically want to see you negotiate like they most people are tactile in that point that they want to see all of that. And, you know, that was harder in the earlier days because I think some people didn't want to necessarily share all their systems and their secrets. And, um, you know, Lee Schiff was my one of my early mentors and I literally like begged her I'm like, hey, you guys are going to Disney World this year, whatever's in Florida. I said, can I go show your buy? I'm like, I'll show all your buyers because you know, I wanted to get on her good side so I can see her listing presentation and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember back to the days and what it felt like as a new agent or an agent that had a little bit of business that was coming up. And I remember that. And, you know, that's where I think you and I are a little different, only in the sense that it's like, hey, here's our entire playbook. Like, come in, take a look at it. Now, now here's the deal. If you're going to come in and look at it, the only expectation we have is you actually implement it, right? Yes. Is yes. Come in, you'll learn it all. You're going to learn it quickly. You're going to learn it at a high level. Um, but the master of this business is the ones that actually go implement it. So, from that perspective, like from the playbook perspective, you know, how much you and I, I think you've, you know, I may have talked about this one time before, but we're, our offices are four miles apart. We both operate heavily in the Roswell market. And, uh, you know, how much do, do we share between each other on exactly what we do on a day to day basis? And, how has that benefited you or hurt your business? Well, you, uh, a lot of people are, are real closed off. Like this is mine. And I don't want to tell you, you might take scarcity. it from me. Yeah. Scarcity. And you and I, 
uh, share everything pretty much. I mean, and you have all these things I don't even know you have yet. And you'll say something like, Ooh, I want that. And, and same here. And uh, it's one of the big differences about the last six months of being with EXP versus before is we, we, we are getting rained nuggets rained down on us all the time. And we're implementing things more effectively. And the things that I picked up from you and other people in our group and we've implemented have, and it's not all one, one thing all at once. It's, you know, six or seven. So one thing where it's just climb out one rung at a time. Yeah. And it has helped us tremendously. And you and I are, I mean, could be in each other's office in seven minutes, really. Yeah. And we've never run across each other <laughs> on, an appointment, appointment or, on the yeah. buyer side or anything. So there's so much opportunity that if you, if you, if, if you share with folks, it's like that you and I will just share with anybody. I mean, yeah. there's no point not to, if I can help anybody grow, but the, like you said, most people don't implement and that, and, and we don't implement everything. We can't, we just can't, we don't have enough time to do well, that. It's one of those things too. Like, and we talked a little bit on a, a big mastermind call yesterday was kind of the whole rock of fuel where you got the visionary, then the integrator Yeah. Well, as visionaries, we come up with all these ideas, right? Yeah. And we hear a lot of good things. We go to these things. Um, somebody's got to be able to filter those off and then maybe do like a, hey, we're going to implement this first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Um, the cool thing is, is we're getting so much information, so many nuggets, as you said, rain down on us. Um, we put them down into a plan and say, all right, mm -hmm. second quarter, these are the two we're implementing. Third quarter, these are the two we're implementing. Um, so the, the thing that I love, it's... Um, you know, it's almost it, it's basically high end coaching without a coaching fee, right? That these are a lot of people that you and I are hanging with now on our mastermind calls and everything else. It's just top producers from around the country that we're all sharing our struggles. How are we accomplishing certain things? What? Um, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? And everybody's sharing it. So, I think on a local level, we've we've started doing that really well, and some agents that have joined. Um, they're always like, Hey, I'm bugging you. I'm like, no, this is, this is why we're in business together. And they are, um, yeah, what's mine is theirs, right? What's and you're the same way. So I think, um, definitely being able to see a top agents playbook like yourself. And when I say a playbook, it's like everything. What are your models? What are your systems? How are you actually putting it in place? Um, it's huge for, for agents to really, especially those agents that have sold you know, two, four deals, mm -hmm. you can easily take an agent from four to eight deals. If they came in, did everything they said, they would easily double their business in the next, I mean, I'd argue I could probably double their business and you too in the next six months. Right. And uh -oh, then man. coming in doing that are doing 10 to 12 deals. We can easily get them to 24. Right. And then yeah. we have the system to get them from 24 because I'm always thinking in doubling the business. Now it gets a little tougher, right? Once you start doing 100 transactions, because you know we were at 100 last year, and and we're on pace to do our goals 175, right? So we 75 percent increase is not bad, but then how are you doing that? Um, so you know where you and I have both been, you know we we hit a couple ceilings and then had to figure out how to break through that, um, and then put in the systems a place so we can continue our growth. So I think that's one thing that we've done on a, on a big level and to be able to help agents come in, plug in and learn from our mistakes. I mean, you and I have probably paid a lot of money for things that we probably should have paid for and mistakes we made. And the cool thing about what we're doing now is there are no secrets. It's like, now we're going to give recommendations, then they have to apply it to their own business, right? What's good for Stacy, what's good for Mike may not be good for that agent, but at least they can have what I call like street knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. In the trenches today from guys that are selling a lot of real estate, the business has changed a lot. The whole everybody freaking out about Zillow and okay, great. That just means I put that in my back of my head and we're having on our conversations about a different strategy on how to generate leads. Where are we moving our reviews to? Because we're getting the hell off of Zillow. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing? So those are the tactics. We're, we're not, I'm not worried about a Zillow or anybody else. We're just moving our business as smart business people. That's the thing that a lot of the agents don't get to plug into. That's the stuff they're not hearing at their brokerage right. um, to be able to implement in their business and do it, especially if they want to be in the business long term, right? Because you're we're both in basically a decade at this point, pretty darn close. 
So those are the things we learned over time. And we just learned we have to continue to be looking down the road for what's coming so that we can adjust our businesses now before that gets here. So I think that's been big on that end. So what else do you have anything before we wrap up on um, really kind of the agents doubling their businesses and how we've been able to help um, other agents that have, that we've surrounded ourselves do that. I, you know, I, like you, I, I can take any, any agent, any realtor that want, that wants to do it, that, yeah. that has committed. I can take anybody from, from 10 to 20 and from 20 to 40 and, you know, in a six or seven, eight month period, because we yeah. have the systems and the processes on how to do that. And it's proven and we've done it. I've done it and I do it. I still do it. Um, and with that, the, here, let me throw something in there too, because, yeah. you know, now granted some of these people may, Hey Mike, you have an opening on your team, right? And you and I both will say, Hey, well, let's go through the process and see if you're fit. Mm-hmm. But even if they don't want to be on our team, you know, if, if they're joining, you know, EXP in our network, we're side by side with them like a partner and helping them grow their business. Cause I'm like, Hey, here, come look, duplicate what we're doing, right? Let, don't recreate the wheel, put your spin on it, put your brand, put your spin, mm-hmm. but shave off that three or four years out, especially for brand new agents out of the gate. Oh, yeah. You can cut four or five years down to like two, if they're willing to be coachable, right? And then implement what they're being taught, then that's how they can easily double. I mean, I can tell you right now, if an agent called me today, did exactly what I said for six months. I guarantee I would, if it was a brand new agent, easily double or triple their business. It, it, easily, double minimum. Right. And that's just coming and hanging out. Hey, I mean, Mike, are you open to an agent not on your team just coming out to hang out at your office and see what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Anytime. Yeah. Well, and an agent called me this morning and said, Can I want to come see your office next week? Come on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not, yeah. it's not, it's like, it's real boring. Like, it's, it's me <laughs> alone lead generating. Yeah. Three screens up. If you want to sit here and watch that, come on. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's that's the big point, too, of, of most agents I talk to actually want to see the nitty gritty of it. Right. Yeah. They like want to see what I call big all mall sports analogies between the lines. What are the X's and O's? Um, Because they can get it in a class and, you know, you get some context in the classroom. However, you know, to me, the street knowledge getting in the in the real estate game. Most people like to see the X's and O's. Hey, what does a listing presentation look like? What do I say? How do I say it? What does the buyer consult look like? How do you negotiate? Like all of that stuff is to me the value. And that's when agents call me. I probably meet with at least one agent a week, um, whether they're you know looking for a team, whether their their name needs to be on the door and they're trying to start their business. And I know you're the same way. And that's I'm like, listen, here's the deal. If you're if you're willing to plug in. And then implement. We'll help you grow your business, bar none, right? Right. And that's kind of who you and I are, because that's what you and I've done over time, and who we we've leveraged. So, in, in a lot of senses, it's us giving back to those that are giving back to us. Um, and quite honestly, it's probably the most fun I've ever had in my career. Oh, this is the most excited I've been about real having about real estate since ten years, eleven years ago when I went full time. I mean, and what you just said we'll help anybody like right now you and I have people that are doing it at a way higher mm-hmm. level than us pouring into us yeah. and give, and every one of them, a hundred plus people in our group, like anything you need, we have for you, the whole playbook. And I tell agents all the time, there's a lot, cause there's a lot of, and I won't go too much into this, but there's a lot of, of brokerage talk. Like everybody's switching brokerages, moving brokerages. And this broker's like, don't go to this other one because they're not profitable. Don't go here. Don't let, a broker, a manager, an OP, anybody tell your story or tell you the story. You are a business owner. You're a realtor. You have a family. Do what's best for you and your family. Go and look at every one of the brokerages. Put them side by side and pick the one that's best for you. EXP may not be the best one for everybody. It's the best for me because it is the, the where I get partner level collaboration. I know I have a clear path to get my business to 200 million in five years. Okay. And there's also the other things that come along with EXP, which we'll talk about later, but do your homework. Don't listen to what other, somebody else's story is. Come and do your homework. Look at my Facebook page, Stacy's Facebook page. We're having 
Zoom calls every week with our leaders. We have a masterminds. Come take a look and see what the difference is. Yep. And if you take a real educated look from a business perspective, then you make your decision. And, and you don't have to, like, there's people swapping brokerages all the time. I mean, well, let's, let's, get, for you. let's get real with that too, right? There are a good amount of agents that are going to swap brokerages. It's the grass is greener mentality, right? Like, yes. I've got all these problems here. Let me just go take my problems somewhere else. And they're not going to yeah. get resolved, right? To me, it's the agents that, um, well, one, if we back up, you definitely, the business has changed a lot. You and I got in the business like when Zillow just started. Fast yeah. forward 10 years, Zillow is basically its own brokerage doing its own thing, right? Yeah. And the way real estate is being transacted, especially after COVID, um, every agent's got to be looking at this as a business decision and constantly be looking. I mean, that's why Baskin Robbins has a bunch of flavors, right? It's because 31 at least, right? But as a business professional, you should always be out on the horizon looking to see what makes sense. And if there's a better model, better model out there to build your business on. So I think that's a key part, like you said, is you at least need for you, you know, forget everybody else, forget your broker, forget Mike, forget Stacy. You as a business professional that's providing for your family, you owe it to your family yeah. to be looking out there to better enrich both, you know, your family, yourself and your family. So I think that's huge. Um, if anybody has any interest in what, you know, Mike and I and our whole uh, organization that we're building, um, really, if I summed it up, I would say it is we're building a like minded group of people that have, um, you know, large goals of selling real estate that will plug in and uh, be coachable and then implement everything that's being taught. And it's fun. It's like I'm, I love watching all these people have come in and we're helping their businesses grow and they've branded themselves and are building big, big businesses. So, uh, yeah. Well, Mike, listen, man, it was great uh, for another chat this week. We'll be back uh, two weeks this Friday and yep. uh, I'm sure we'll have another fun topic at it. But if you got any questions, reach out to Mike or myself, um, you know, through Facebook, DM, whatever, smoke signal, carrier pigeon. You know how to get a hold of us. We're real estate agents, so we're plastered everywhere. Google us, well, you'll find us. Hey, there you go, baby. So, all right, brother. Well, hey, have a good uh, rest right, of the week, weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. You too, buddy. Thanks, man. All, all right. right. See you guys. Bye.